Hey everyone, here's a little video of my 8-day trip in Japan. We departed from Singapore and arrived at Narita Airport. We had to queue up for almost two hours to collect our J-Pass. It's basically train tickets for Shinkansen, the famous Japan bullet train. And then we had to take an hour train ride to Tokyo. Here's one of the shops at the train station that sells bento. Me and my cousin got our lunch here and made our way to our next train which took us from Tokyo to Toyama, another city. The train ride was about three hours, but I'm not complaining because look at the view. And then we arrived at Toyama and made our way to the hotel. And then took another train to meet my mom and aunt because we had to take this red train to go to the beach. We got here in the evening and the view wasn't that clear anymore, but it's still really pretty. Because it's the beach, so it was very windy and really, really cold. And that's the end of our first day in Toyama. Day two, we're taking this train to see the snow wall. Here's my mom and Celeste, my cousin, two of my aunts. The train ride was about an hour and the view just got better and better. We weren't supposed to be standing while the train was moving but the view was too beautiful not to. I mean, how can the water be so blue? Here's the bottom of the mountain and this ticket is a hundred Singapore dollars. We took the cable car to travel up the mountain. And took a bus to get to the top of the mountain. And here's the famous snow wall. Then we took the bus back down from snow back to the greeneries. Finally, we had our dinner by the train station. That's end of day two. Day three, we left Toyama and traveled to our next destination, Takayama.
Our hotel is approximately 10 minutes walk from the train station. And this place is very well known for their beef. But we had our lunch at a traditional ramen place first. Next, we took the train to the rural area to see some sakura. There was a whole row of it. Then we found this place next to the train station. I'm obsessed with this pathway. It honestly looked like a portal to me. And then we got to this beautifully preserved old town. All these old homes and shops have been around for centuries. Then of course, we had some famous Hida beef for dinner. And that's end of day three. We're renting a car today, and I'll be the driver. Hmm, you know what's gonna happen when you have three elders sitting at the back of the car when you're driving? They're gonna keep telling you to drive slower. But honestly, there are lots of tunnels and curves in Japan, so yeah, you have to go slow. Our ultimate destination was Shirakawa-go, but we saw this place along the way and we had to see it. This place was unreal, like, unreal. got to Shirakawa Go, finally. There can never be too many tourists, am I right? They said this place is prettier during the winter because the roofs are going to be covered in snow. These are the famous fishes under the drain. I was risking my phone to take this video, and the water was hella cold. Then we had some ramen for early dinner. Ended with some crazy good desserts at our hotel. No, seriously, they are so good. fabulous Japanese garden at the back. Then me and my cousin went to the onsen at our hotel. 
You're not supposed to bring your phone in, let alone film it. But we were the only ones here, so I secretly took a few videos. And that's end of our day four. This has to be my favorite place out of all the places I went in Japan. Kamikochi. Such a shame that it was raining, but it's still very, very breathtaking. Here's a part of the forest where you can find lots of huge monkeys because they are right where they belong in nature. This was the exact spot where I cried a little because I really think this is how humans should live their lives but we're just so out of touch with nature. I picked up this stone and thought of giving it to my best friend because what gift can be more authentically from Japan than the stone from the river? Finally, we had our dinner at this traditional restaurant that is famous for serving their grilled food on leaves. And we ended our last night in Takayama with some refreshing Japanese fruit cider. The very next day, we traveled from Takayama to Nagoya, settled down in our hotel and walked around during the daytime, and then waited for my cousin to pick us up at the train station and drove us to Himamatsu to visit his very own salon. Here's my Japanese cousin, very handsome, another two of my Japanese cousins. With their babies and children. You could only have a very short dinner gathering, then we had to take the train back to Nagoya. Early morning, my cousin Celeste and I traveled back to Tokyo. Here's Mount Fuji, but the clouds were blocking it. Then we went to Tokyo's Starbucks Reserve. Walked around this rich neighborhood and had our lunch at this cool tempura udon place in Shibuya. Here are some nightlife scenes in Shibuya city. And the famous Shibuya Crossing. If you're a city girl, this is the place for you. And that concludes our very last night in Japan.
The next day, we had our brunch and headed to the airport. So here's a map of all the places we went in this trip. From Tokyo to Toyama, to Takayama, to Nagoya, and then Himamatsu, then back to Nagoya, and Nagoya to where we started, Tokyo. Thank you for watching!